then singularities tellers and lorentz series x when fz is equal to 1 by z minus 1 square z minus 3 in lorentz series valid for the reasons 0 less than mod of z minus 1 less than by less than 2 and 0 less than mod of z minus 3 less than 2. Hello everyone, myself Priyanka Kodara, faculty Plutus IAS and let's continue our series of prerequisites for complex analysis. Till now we have done analytic and harmonic function in this series and today we are going to do in, in complex integration then we will do integration by Cauchy using Cauchy formula and Cauchy residue formula you can say and in the last if the time permits then we will do some questions basing upon basis upon Lorentz series and Taylor series expansion. So let's start. This is the question that was asked in 2019 means for maths optional. Evaluate the integral. Integral is defined such that let's see that this is i. i is equal to integral c real part of z square dz from 0 to 2 plus 4 iota along the curve c and c is what c is a parabola y is equal to x square which for parabola is this y is equal to x square here we do have even parts of x that means the given curve is symmetric about y axis jis ki bhi even power hoti hai us wo do values deta hai that means it would be symmetric about opposite axis so even parts of x so it is symmetric about y axis and hence the parabola would be upward parabola and since it passes through your origin, so its focus would be this one, right? And then y is equal to x square. What is the region? They had said as 0, 2, 2 plus 4 iota. 0, 0 is this one. And 2 plus 4 iota in complex can be written as 2, comma 4, where 2 is the cut on x axis and 4 is the cut on, say here, y axis, that is 2, comma 4 it is 2 plus 4 iota point if you do want to write into <coughs> complex number then you need to integrate the function the given function along this curve and the function itself is defined in the form of real of z square what is z square z square is x plus iota y it's square and it would be x square plus y square minus 2 iota x y that is z square and what is real of z square that means real part of z square and that would be x square plus y square only now let's do integration so i would be integral c over c x square plus y square into dz would be dz is required to be converted into something and that should be see if i do write dz then z in this integration would be this with respect to z and what is z dz z is x plus iota y and hence dz would be dx plus iota dy and let's write this here it is dx plus iota dy now we need to find out this integration but this is single integral or you can say line integral or curve integral that means you have one variable you should have one variable only so that it can be integrated and for converting this two variable function into one we will use the curve that they had said that the equation of the curve and they had said that equation of the curve is such that y is equal to x square if y is equal to x square that means dy is equal to 2x dx and let's put all these values in the given integral so it would be integration and since you are converting your y into x so limit would be everything would be converted into x only and limit would be respectively for x only so x varies from 0 to 2 only that point limit is 0 to 2 and now put this is x square plus y square would be x raised to power 4 dx as it is plus iota dy at the place of dy this would be 2x dx and for simplification we can do one thing let me partition this this would be i is equal to integral 0 to 2 x square plus x raised to power 4 
and can I take dx common then it would be 1 plus 2 iota x dx <coughs> and further after simplifying this this would be 0 to 2 if I do multiply them inside so that integration would be on the easier side it would be x square x4 plus 2 iota x cube plus 2 iota x raised to power 5 and dx <coughs> now do integration it would be x cube by 3 x4 by 4 2 x5 by 5 sorry power would be increased now huh? and it would be x power 4 by 4 plus 2 iota x raised to power 6 by 6 and then limits are 0 to 2 put the limits directly then it would be 8 by 3 plus 32 2 raised to power 5 is 32 by 5 plus 2 iota would be 2 cancelled and it would be 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 by 2 and hence it would be 8 iota and the last one it would be 3 so 2 raised to power 5 is 32 2 raised to power 6 would be 64 64 by 3 iota and now you can simplify this further if you want to simplify then 40 plus 3 3 into 2 is 6 3 3 9 and it would be 136 by 15 plus if I do take 3 as LCM then it would be 8 into 3 24 24 88 24 plus 64 88 by 3 iota and hence this is the answer so this is how you need to do integration write the function then the function the derivative would be or integration would be this dz ka you have to write z as x plus iota y and then can do corresponding derivative and since it is line integral or you can say ka ke along integration has so single integration is there and therefore you require only one variable so convert both the variable by using the curve equation of the curve whether it would have been some line or some koi or bhi curve de de de, to se we would have used this value ya to dx ko convert kar do dy mein ya dy ko dx mein convert kar do that is your choice or this mein convert karte ho use limit for that function and then do integration general integration nothing else next thing Cos is integral formula. Direct integration ke question bohut jyada puche nahi hai UPSI ne. But this was the way that is how you need to solve. Or jo 2023 ka paper hai, 2023 ka that I have already told in the, my first series. It has been already discussed and it is available there on the, on the site of Plutus IAS. So you can go through that paper. Let's start Cos is integral formula wale jitne bhi questions hai. So this question was asked in IFOS. Since still we are discussing UPSC CSC ke paper but this was a good question. And I thought that this is the perspective question or promising question that may be asked in future, near future for mains question, mains paper. So I took it and let's calculate it. They are saying using Cauchy theorem or Cauchy's integral formula, evaluate the integral this one. How would you evaluate what is the Cauchy's integral formula? Cauchy integral formula says they says if your f of a is any fz or you can say fz is any analytic function is any analytic function over a region c over c hold up then a belonging to that region such that f of a would be 1 by 2 pi iota integral fz over z minus a dz. That means you can find out the koi bhi region de rakha, agar usme koi point hai or function tumara analytic hai. Then using this formula you can find out value of the function at any point. Or this is the for this is used as an application for finding out integrals because 
whenever you would be keeping this way only here yahan itna dekhoge to what what are you getting z minus a is singularity of this function agar main is pure function ko gz kahu to z minus a is what singularity or you can say z minus z is equal to a is the point where your denominator is vanishing then your denominator zero ho raha hai that means it is singular point or to be particular it would be pole agar ye pole hai then integration of this function would be 2 pi eta into f of a right so we will compare this there from there only but how would you compare here you are getting that z minus a should be single one ya to iski power ho sakti hai but the factor should be linear or sing power honi chahiye to power hogi single function ke because we do have derivative function bhi apne paas hota hai ki wo derivative kaise nikalte hain agar tumhe yahan se derivative nikalna ho to wo kya hota hai if you do have n at a that is nth order derivative at f of a then it would be n factorial 2 pi iota d by d z or this would be n minus 1 type derivative of what jo bhi tumhara hai f z over z minus a and its power would be n d z n हो गए n प्लस वन यहाँ तो पावर सेम होती है दिस वुड बी n दिस वुड बी n एंड दिस वुड बी वन हायर ये n प्लस वन हो जाती है ठीक है दिस वुड बी फॉर डेरिवेटिव फंक्शन देख लेंगे हमें जिसकी भी जरूरत होगी बट बिफोर दैट लेट्स चेक दिस वन दे आर सेइंग अब हम इसको क्या कर सकते हैं कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं सो दैट इट कैन हैव योर सिंगल फंक्शन इन द डिनोमिनेटर एंड फॉर दैट वट यू रिक्वायर you require to break this into single factors or factors of only one one factor you can say the powers of only one factor then we require partial fraction so let's write this let's bifurcate this or so cut it short or using partial fraction we can solve this way so let z square z plus 1 cube is equal to a over z plus b over z square plus c over z plus 1 d over z plus 1 square plus e over z plus 1 cube always keep into mind whenever you are doing partial fraction partial fraction would increase power by power you cannot directly write a by z square plus b by z plus 1 cube no all the factors would be involved all the factors would be there and now you need to find out the values of a b c d e so for finding out that what will we do we will multiply throw out the equation by z square z plus 1 cube and hence it would be a z into z plus 1 cube plus b z plus 1 cube plus c z square z plus 1 square plus d z square z plus 1 plus e z square and now we need to find out a b c d e directly if you want to find out some of the coefficients then what you can do put z is equal to 0 so that this is 0 this is 0 and all the rest all are 0 except b if z is equal to 0 then it would be is equal to 1 1 cube is 1 only and if you do put z is equal to minus 1 then it it would be 0 it would be the, it would be 0 it be it would be again 0 and this is 0 last thing is remaining so e would be equal to again 1 because that is minus 1 and there you do have powers of z as 2 so that minus 1 into minus 1 would be 1 so you got two coefficients but still we require three other and for that what we need to do we have to equate the coefficients ki kisi degree ka let's compare the coefficients of constant yahan se koi constant nahi aayega constant would be from here so 1 is equal to on the left hand side we have 1 as constant and on the right hand side here we will be getting b plus there would be no constant from here no constant from here and already we have found out b so usse to koi fayda nahi hua now we will compare the powers of z raised to power 1 on the left hand side we have nothing about z raised to power 1 on the right hand side there would be 1 and 1 z hoga to a plus from here you would be getting 3z आएगा कहीं हाँ जब खोलोगे इसको तो z क्यूब प्लस वन प्लस थ्री जेड प्लस थ्री जेड स्क्वायर होगा सो इट वुड बी थ्री बी 
plus. From here, you will not get any power of Z because Z square is involved outside. And from here, also we will not be getting any power of Z. So, yahan se kuch nahi aata. So, A is equal to minus 3B and hence A is equal to minus 3. And if A is equal to minus 3, then next thing, next jitne bhi bach gai, ab bachta hai amara C and D. For C, we will find out powers of Z square. So, Z square ke liye yahan se kya aega? Either se Z square aega kya? 3 Z aega. Obviously, 3 Z aega. Or 3 Z wala jo hoga, that would be 3 Z square. So, 0 is equal to 3 A. Plus from here, Z square or और 3z वाला ही 3z स्क्वायर बनेगा आई थिंक और तो कहीं बनता नहीं है z क्यूब z हां z पावर 4 बन जाएगा वो और इधर भी से भी 3z स्क्वायर वुड बी देयर तो दैट वुड बी 3 बीइंग प्लस यहां से क्या आएगा 1 into c z स्क्वायर तो c और यहां से d प्लस e सो वैल्यूज वुड बी 3a प्लस 3b 3a मींस माइनस 9 minus 9 plus 3 plus c plus d ki bhi koi value nahi hai apne paas and plus e is equal to 1 that is equal to 0 to yahan se c plus d kitna a gaya minus k 6 plus 1 se fir minus 5 and that is equal to 5 again we will compare the power of z raised to power 3 z raised to power 3 kahan se aayega idhar 3 z square banega और एक z बाहर से आएगा तो 1 is equal to 3a plus ये कितना बनता है z क्यों भी आएगा तो that would be b only from here again c आएगा d में भी z क्यों है और e के पास कोई z क्यों नहीं again 3a is minus 9 plus b is 1 plus c plus d and hence c plus d is equal to is it possible c plus d is equal to नहीं कहीं गड़बड़ की क्या हमने c plus d यहाँ से you are getting z cube की power d ही बसता है सिर्फ और इधर से you are getting c plus d z square इधर से z cube की power two आएगा भाई two z है ना तो z square नहीं two z होगा और that is two c हम्म now okay two c plus D and now subtract both of them you will get C is equal to 4. Let's say subtract karoge. C is equal to 4 and if C is equal to 4 that means D is equal to 1. So we got all the values and let's write them. I would be integration T raised to power Z into A over what is A? A is minus 3. Minus 3 by Z. plus <clears throat> second one is b b by z square and b is equal to 1 1 by z square plus c c is 4 4 by z plus 1 plus C ye baad, after that we do have D, D is equal to 1, E is equal to also 1. D over Z plus 1 square plus E 1 over Z plus 1 square cube ho jayega and that is DJ. Now you need to cover all these and what are the, if you, haan dekha hoga yaha, to singularities were there. So what are the singularities there involved? So, z is equal to 0 and z is equal to minus 1 and all are in the region of circle of radius 2. So, minus 1 be circle in circle of radius 2 aata hai, both are included. So, we need to calculate both of them and let's write them separately. So, it would be minus 3 outside e raised to power z by z dz plus e raised to power z by z square plus dz by z. 4 e raised to power z, z plus 1, dz plus 1 by, this is what, integral e raised to power z, z plus 1, whole square dz plus e raised to power z over 
Z plus 1 Q dz. And now use these formula. Jo jo formulas to me dikh raha hai wahan se. Kaise use karenge? Ye derivative hota hai kya? Integration jo bhi hoga, uska derivative use hota hai. Complex ke formulas, check them once. Yehi bante hai kya? एक बार कैलकुलेशन देखो हमने ठीक किए हैं क्या ए बी सी डी की वैल्यूज वो ठीक होनी चाहिए अदरवाइज आगे पूरा कैलकुलेट करने का कोई फायदा नहीं होगा पावर एन वाले में अरे वो डेरिवेटिव दूसरी साइड करते हैं ना तब होता है इसका डेरिवेटिव के जो ये वाला नहीं होता है यहाँ से अपोजिट लिख दिया टू पाई उधर जाके होता है ना तो ये क्या होता है टू पाई आयोटा नहीं, n फैक्टोरियल बाई टू पाई आयोटा ओनली रेजिडियो थोरम में होता है जब कौन सी रेजिडियो थोरम लगाते हैं तब एन एथ डेरीवेटिव होता है दिस इज ऑलरेडी इन द एन एथ डेरीवेटिव फॉर्मेट में और वो होता है तुम्हारा वन बाई टू पाई आयोटा इंटीग्रल सी एफ जेड ओवर जेड माइनस ए एंड नाउ वी विल यूज दिस फॉर्मूलाज की कौन सा कौन सा बनता है ऐसे यहाँ से इसका भी फॉर्मेट है अपने पास इस फॉर्मेट में भी क्वेश्चन है बिकॉज वी हैव जेड प्लस वन रेज टू पावर थ्री जेड प्लस वन रेज टू पावर टू जेड प्लस वन उस टाइप के हैं सो वी विल यूज दिस और ज्यादा समझ नहीं आता हो तो ये क्या हो जाएगा इंटीग्रल दिस वन और टू पाई आयोटा ये हो जाएगा यहाँ से अगर हटाना चाहो तो दिस वुड बी टू पाई आयोटा बाई एन फैक्टोरिया है ना यही है लेट्स यूज दैम सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जेड माइन यू कैन राइट दिस एच जेड माइनस जीरो Then यहाँ पे एफ जेड का क्या का, क्या कर रहा है ई रेज टू पार जेड ओनली एंड देन देर फोर इट वुड बी माइनस थ्री इंटू एफ जेड दैट इज ई रेज टू पार जेड एंड इट्स वैल्यू एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो पे एफ ऑफ ए है ना वहां पे टू पाई आयोटा इंटू पहले वाले इक्वेशन से वहां से हो जाएगा टू पाई आई आयोटा इंटू लेट मी राइट टू पाई आयोटा इंटू e raised to power z at z is equal to zero plus second time यहाँ पे z square है so we cannot use first formula this would be used here and यहाँ पे n plus one है तुम्हारा तो one plus one होगा तभी two बनेगा that means it would be two pi alpha by one factorial and first derivative that is two pi alpha by one factorial and first derivative वो d by d z e raised to power z at z is equal to zero plus ये कितना हो जाएगा four बाहर रख लो and it is again two pi iota into e raised to power z and this time it is at z is equal to minus one plus this would be two pi iota divided by one factorial होगा and first order derivative d by d z of what e raised to power z and at Point z is equal to minus one. Similarly, last one would be two pi iota by two factorial this time because this is three. So three can be written as two plus one. Hence, n is equal to two, and this would be second derivative. Will be here d by d z d z square of e z, and the point is z is equal to minus one. So let's calculate them. This would be minus six pi iota. And e raised to power z is z only. If you do put zero, so this would be one plus two pi iota by one factorial. And first order derivative of e z is any order derivative of e z is again e raised to power z. So you don't need to do anything and directly put z is equal to zero. So that would be again one plus eight pi iota, and it would be e raised to power minus z minus one हो जाएगा. Then two pi iota. और वन फैक्टोरियल इज वन ओनली फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ई रेज टू पावर जेड इज अगेन ई रेज टू पावर जेड एंड हेंस इट वुड बी ई रेज टू पावर माइनस वन देन टू पाई आयोटा बाई टू फैक्टोरियल दैट इज पाई आयोटा एंड हेंस सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव भी ई रेज टू पावर जेड ही होगा दिस वुड बी ई रेज टू पावर माइनस वन माइनस सिक्स पाई आयोटा प्लस टू पाई आयोटा एट पाई आयोटा बाई ई And this will be minus four pi iota plus eight to the sorry, eleven. 
so that is it this is how we need to do cosy integral formula and this is similar one using cosy's integral formula to evaluate you need to evaluate this one where c is the circle z is equal to 2 if z is equal to 2 then from here we are getting singularity is now for singularity z plus 1 power 4 is equal to 0 and hence z is equal to minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 4 times or you can say z is equal to minus 1 is a whole of order 4. So, if you want to use this formula, so what do you do? Z plus 4. This is directly because A is one power, A is one factor, and it is one power. So, by formula, I would be what? 2 pi iota divided by. Here is n plus 1, hota hai, to n factorial. Hota hai. That means that is 3 factorial. Then third order derivative, Z cube by Z, dZ cube of function e raised to power 3 Z hoga. And at specific point, point here is z is equal to minus 1. So, do it. 2 pi eta by 6, 3 factorial is 6. If you do write first order derivatives of second, third, so kya ho jayega? 3 raised to power 3, e raised to power 3 z and z is equal to minus 1. And hence, it would be 10 k no notice. 1 cut kar do yaan se 3, 1 power yaan cut ho jayega 9 pi iota and e raised to power minus 3. So, that is the answer and you can also write this. So, this is how you need to calculate the things. It is simple, tha, bas formula use karna hai and this was for 15 marks. Then, singularity is Taylor's and Lorentz series. Expand fz is equal to 1 by z minus 1 square z minus 3 in Lorentz series valid for the reasons 0 less than mode of z minus 1 less than by less than 2 and 0 less than mode of z minus 3 less than 2. When you give this type of region in the series expansion, the first work is z minus 1 or whatever is inside, take t. Maan lo. So, for expansion, let first part, let the reason is let z minus 1 is equal to t, then the reason would be 0 less than mode of t less than 2. And given function fz is, अच्छा जब भी Lorentz series या Taylor series निकालते हैं, so most of the time rather than going by the definition, definition method, we directly use the expansion method. और expansion method में you can expand anything. Only requirement is whatever function you are expanding that should be less than one. वो सिमारा क्या है? Less than one होना चाहिए. That is mode of that function. If you are Expanding any number that 1 minus z type करके जो भी चीज को expand कर रहे हो, then this z or you can say a, x, whatever it is, mode of this should be always less than 1. Only then you can expand. Or for example, if you have 1 minus z by 2, तो you can expand only if mode of z by 2 है, that is less than 1. ठीक है? So only requirement would be to make make this this less than 1. So let's use this thing here. First thing. They are saying fz over z minus 1 square into z minus 3. And valid for the region, this region ke liye banana hai, so you need to expand in this region. Na. So, you have to convert this in this format only. So, if you want to convert this, then it would be 1 by, this is t square and this can be written as t minus z minus 1 minus 2 hoga, to t minus 2 bach. Is it okay? Hana? To wahi region mein hai z minus 1 wali region mein is kamta vc ke format mein you need to expand this one. And now by using partial fraction first we will convert this into single factors. So for converting this into partial fraction this is of the type fz is a over yaha pe side mein likh lena by partial fraction let fz is equal to that is 1 by t square who can be written as t minus 2 as a by t plus b by t square plus c by t minus 2 and this is a into t into t minus 2 plus b into t minus 2, two. 
plus c into t square and if I do put t is equal to 0 this would be 0 that would be 0 and hence b is equal to minus 1 by 2. Similarly if I do put t is equal to 2 ye dono 0 ho jayenge and c would be 1 by 4. Do to ho gaye and a chahiye a ke liye what you can do compare the powers of t square t square ki power compare karoge to a plus c would be equal to 0 and hence a would be equal to minus of c and minus of c means minus 1 by 4. So our fz would be fz turns out to be a that is minus 1 by 4 kya ha tha by t ho jayega plus b minus 1 by 2 into t square ho jayega and then c is 1 by 4 t minus 2 and these are already expanded. Inko kuch nahi karna. Ek t ki power mein hai. Now you need to expand this one. But we know that z t is less than 2. Mode of t is less than 2 hai. So if I do write then mode of t by 2 would be less than 1. And from here you can find out 2 common. Minus 2 common le lenge. If you do take minus 2 common it would be minus 8. 1 minus t by 2. 1 minus z ki expansion kar sakte hai na? So this would be minus 1 by 4 t minus 1 by 2 t square minus 1 by 8 and this can be written as 1 minus t by 2. It's for minus 1. And it would be 1 minus 4 t 1 minus 2 t square minus 1 by 8 and the expansion is 1 plus t by 2 plus square of this t square by 4 plus t cube by 8 and so on. Okay. And now back substitute the value of t and what was that? z minus 1. z minus 1 minus 1 by 2 z minus 1 square plus minus a minus 1 by 8 z ye 2 have 1 plus a hoga z minus 1 by 2 plus z minus 1 by 1 square by 4 and so on. So this is the Lorentz series expansion, isn't it? Lorentz series expansion mein kya hota hai? You do have powers of z minus 1 and uski kuch na kuch denominator mein power hoti hai hamisha. So you do have Taylor series hota to Taylor series mein ye principal part bolte hai jisko wo absent hota hai. Taylor series mein koi bhi principal part nahi hota aur ek criteria aur this is extra from this question ki tell jo tumhari Lorentz series hoti hai that gives you idea about singularity. If you do have only constant term koi bhi ya to you can say ki tumhari Taylor series mein tumhe singularity to mil rahi hai but no, there is no series no part of principal part of the principal there in your Lorentz series koi principal part nahi hai to you would be having single Removable singularity. Or agar finite number of terms aati hai your principal part of Lorentz series mein, then the, it would be pole and order of pole would be decided by highest degree of the denominator's power. Jitni bhi z ki denominator power hogi, that would be the order of the pole. And if you do have infinite number of terms in Lorentz series expansion ke principal part mein, then the singularity there would be essential isolated singularity. Thik hai? So principal part hota hai, principal part ki number of terms se hoti hai, that gives you idea about singularity of the function ki singularity hai, kaun si hai, kaha hai, aur kya type hai singularity ka. Second question, second type says, second part of this question asks ki you need to explain, expand this function in this region, mode of z minus 3 and less than 2. How would you convert z minus 3 ko t put karenge again aur usko kya lik sak sak sakte hai? t plus 2 ho jayega because minus 2 add kar do minus 2 subtract kar do then it would be t minus 2 t plus 2 ka square ho jayega into t a jayega then use the partial fraction in the similar fashion or waha se find out the constant wo find out karne ke baad fir se expand karne na only condition that should be satisfied is yaha se agar tum isko t likh rahe ho to expansion tabhi possible hai if t is less than this t by 2 is less than 1 और वो हो जाएगा t plus 2 होगा ना 2 common लेना t by 2 है this is already less than 2 because reason is 0 less than 
mod of t less than 2 and if you do take divide by 2 then it would be 2 0 mod of t by 2 less than 1 hence you can expand in the terms of t by 2 and then in the last again substitute z is equal to t minus sorry t is equal to z minus 3 and this is how you need to expand. So, there are some other questions of this format only. Find the Lorentz series expansion of fz in the path of z plus 1 in the region this one. Is power, uski power mein expand karna hai, that is the similar thing. So, expand karne ke liye first, first of all you should have something into z plus 1 na. So, usko convert karke dekhte hai. Let's see, denominator kya banta hai tumara. Denominator is z let z plus 1 is equal to sorry z plus 1 is equal to t and then z would be equal to t minus 1. Now we will expand t terms mein expand karenge aur last mein jo tumhara function aega, usko we will replace again by z plus 1. So z plus 1 ke terms mein expand ho jayega aur if t is mod of z is greater than 0 greater than 3 so this is your region z plus 3 greater than now let's convert your function fz is or f of t may convert kar rahe hai, z mein nahi rakhte hum f of t plus 1 t minus 1 mein ho jayega ye t minus 1 usko z mein bana denge to z ko you need to write f of t minus 1 so that would be t minus 1 square minus t minus 1 plus 1 t minus 1 square minus 3 t square minus 2t plus 1 minus t plus 1 plus 1 in the denominator it is t minus 1 t square minus 2t plus 1 sorry that was minus na so let's say 3t minus 3t plus 3 plus 2 and solve it. It would be t square minus 3t plus 3 plus 1 1 1 that is 3 and in the denominator t minus 1. What is this? t square minus 5t plus 3 into 5 or it check. And this can be written as t square minus 3t plus 3. t is hai. Niche hua t minus 1. And what is this? t in or do bach jata hai. t minus 2 t minus 3. Hai na? And now use partial fraction. So that t square minus 3t plus 3 divided by t minus 1 t minus 2 t minus 3 and this can be written as a by t minus 1 plus b by t minus 2 plus c by t minus 3 and again t square minus 3 t plus 3 is equal to a into t minus 2 t minus 3 t minus 1 t minus 2 put t is equal to 1 both of the last term would be 0 and after putting this would be 1 minus 3t plus 3 so 1 is equal to minus 1 minus 2 that is 2 a and hence a is equal to 1 by 2 put t is equal to 2 so this term would be 0 this would be 0 only thing is left than that one and t is equal to 2 put karoge 4 minus 6 4 plus 3 7 minus 6 1 and hence it is 2 minus 2 which is 2 put kya tha na? 1 into minus 1 that is minus b and b is equal to minus 1 yehi bach sa hai 4, 3, 7, minus 6, 8 or either say 2 minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 thik hai and if you do put t is equal to 3 so 9 minus 9 0 and that is 3 this would be 0 this would be 0 and from here you will be getting 2 into 1 2 c so this is c is equal to 3 by 2 and now fz would be 
no tested f of t minus that is nothing but a a is 1 by 2 t minus 1 plus b or what is b minus 1 by t minus 2 and then you do have 3 by 2 t minus 3 and given that t is greater than 3 that is the thing so that means t is greater than 3 hai na? so yahan se expansion dekhna expansion is possible only if you do have your jo bhi tumhara t ka function hoga that should be mod of that should be less than 1 so that is possible only if you convert this into the format of t ko 3 se divide karte ho so t 3 by t mod of 3 by t would be less than 1 agar t by 3 kar diya that would be greater than 1 so that is not possible and since 3 by 2 is 3 by t is less than 1 hai so you can uh, easily say 2 by t be less than 1 hoga mod chal raha hai obviously and then you can say again 1 by t be kya hoga less than 1 so you have to expand now in the form of 1 by t 2 by t 3 by t hona jaye only then you can expand so instead of taking 1 yahan se common what will we do we will take t common so that you can convert this into the form 1 by t similarly from here we will not take minus 2 common again we will take t hi common lenge because you need to convert in the format of 2 by t 1 minus 2 by t hoga then this would be 3 by 2 and keep t outside then it would be 1 minus 3 by t and now you need to expand so it would be 1 by 2 t 1 minus 1 by t its power minus 1 minus 1 by t 1 minus 2 by t its power minus 1 plus 3 by 2 t 1 minus 3 by t and its power minus 1. So let us expand this on the next phase but we do not have we will take inner board leading away 1 minus 1 by t ka inverse <coughs> So, your f of t minus 1 would be 1 by 2 t and that is 1 minus 1 by t raised to power minus 1. Let me write so that you don't get confused. Ugly line me kar minus 1 by t one minus 2 by t is there I think. Yes its power minus 1 plus 3 by 2 t 1 minus 3 by t its power minus 1 and this would be 1 by 2 t and do expansion 1 plus 1 by t because this is 1 minus x ki expansion kya hoti hai? if mode of x is less than 1 so here hota hai 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube koi factorial nahi hota x4 and so on Thik. 1 plus 1 by t plus 1 by t square plus 1 by t cube and so on so again say you will be getting 1 by 2 t 1 plus 2 by t plus 2 by t square 2 by t cube okay and the last one is 3 by 2t 1 and in the last t was what z plus 1 so this would be fz is equal to 1 by 2 t can be written as z plus 1 at the place of t replaced by z plus 1. plus that would be oh, plus tha ya minus tha minus tha kaha kya kya mene 1 by 2 t to pehle me tha yaha 2 t jaisa kuch ne tha t ne
2 square carry plus 1 square and so on and then write the third term 3 by 2 z plus 1 1 plus 3 z plus 1 9 z plus 1 square and so on so that is how you need to expand and now this is completely in the pass of z plus 1 so this is how you need to expand in the some other form if they ask ki ye wale form mein kar lijiye again next question is find the lorentz series which represent the function so similar thing you need to do yahan bhi same thing karna hai and this is your homework write the answer in the comment box below and then i will check whether you are writing it correct or not and this is like how all, we always end up the series by giving one of the homework question for you guys and that is it. in the next lecture we will be doing questions upon contour integration theek okay? hai so that is it thank you